What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use a Xbox One controller or a PS4 controller on your device on iOS 12. Now keep in mind when iOS 13 comes out, iOS 13 can do this natively now. Apple made that a new feature of iOS 13 so that's something I'm very very excited for because that's going to enable everybody that's not jailbroken to connect these controllers to their device and play MFI controller supported games with them or even emulators which is seriously cool so if you guys don't know what an emulator is is basically it's a virtual game console that allows you to play old school games like the original Mario or games like Sonic the Hedgehog stuff like that basically the old games uh, you can play them all on your device and being able to do that with a controller is super cool. But anyways, like I said, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this on iOS 12. And you must be jailbroken in order to do this. So you will have to be jailbroken. This is a, uh, a tweak that I'll be using that allows me to do this. So first off, we'll jump into Cilio. And this is the tweak right here. It is called N-Control. You can read up on it there. It says use Sony DualShock 4 slash Slim, Xbox One, Evo VR Pro, 8-Bit 8, 8 Do, um, the iPega i9500, whatever, whatever other controllers are. But also there is the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con slash Pro Controller, so you can use those as well. I'm mostly excited for the, the Xbox One controller and the PS4 controller. I think that this is is worth it. Now... Uh, this tweak does come with a steeper price point. It is actually $10, so whether you guys find value in that or not, I don't know. I find value in it. I love being able to play games with a controller on my 10s Max. It's seriously fun. So uh, once you have downloaded this uh, this tweak slash, slash application from Cilio or Cydia, the next part is pretty easy. You just go ahead and launch the application. And I've already paired it up to my controllers, but I'm just going to do it uh, here really quickly for example for you guys so we'll start out with the ps4 controller and to do this it's really easy you hold the ps uh, the playstation button there and then the share button hold both of them at the same time and you'll see the uh, the led on it start flashing so we'll just go ahead and hold both there we go and it is flashing right now as you guys can see uh, and then i'm going to go ahead and go into the wireless controller because that is the ps uh, ps4 controller Go ahead and click on the little arrow at the top there, and as you can see, you can connect the device or unpair the device. So easily, just click on connect the device, and once the light goes solid, the uh, PlayStation 4 controller is now connected to my device, and I can play um, MFI-supported controller game applications or emulators, like I said. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm actually going to unconnect or disconnect the PS4 controller from it, just like so. And then you can see the controller shuts off and we can back out. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do it on the Xbox One controller. It's probably going to turn my Xbox on, but that's okay. So we'll go ahead and turn the controller on. Now keep in mind, if you're using the Xbox controller to do this, it has to be the newer version of the Xbox One controller. There's a difference at the top part here. Um, as you can see, the newer one, it's kind of like a solid piece of plastic. The old ones, it used to dip down here, and you can see the shiny black. So keep in mind, you have to have the newer Xbox One controller in order to do this. So once your Xbox One controller is on, you just click the, uh, the pair button there, and you can see the Xbox One controller starts flashing. Same thing, we'll go into the Xbox One or the Xbox wireless controller, click on that little arrow and then we can connect our device and you guys will see that the Xbox One controller uh, will connect to my iPhone. So it is solid and we are now connected. Now to show you guys that it does work, I'll just load up a really simple game here uh, to show that it is working. We'll put on uh, Jetpack Joyride just as a demo to show you that it is controller enabled. So I know it's kind of crooked for you guys and sideways but just showing you that it, it does it does work. So we'll just go ahead and touch the screen and this is going to be incredibly hard to do upside down. I no clue what I just clicked. Okay. All right. So and I, and I immediately died, but it does work as you guys can see. Um pretty straightforward. The controller is working. So let's go ahead and exit out of that. Now I do want to show you guys something else here before I end out the video. 
<clears throat> is this application here. I forget the exact name of it, uh, but I'll leave the iTunes link for this down in the description. And this basically shows you um, all of the MFI controller supported games found in the App Store. It shows if they're free, shows if they're paid, and basically all these different games from the App Store um, can be played with a controller and with running end control, with controllers set up like I am with a PS4 controller or an Xbox One controller. This is really cool. So to go through here, you can do categories. You got your all games section here. You have charts. I like using the charts just to see what's most popular. And as you can see, here's the paid section of the App Store showing you uh, all these games are supported for the controller. You got the free section here. Not too many on the, the top free, but that is uh, the games that you can use controllers with. Uh, Fortnite is there, but unfortunately Fortnite does have jailbreak detection. So you won't be able to use it within Fortnite. Um, I have tried that out. If if there's anything new that you guys know about I mean, how to bypass that, let me know in the comments. But um, as of right now, or at least to my knowledge, you cannot use a jailbroken iPhone to play Fortnite with a controller. But still, nonetheless, this is a great application to have. If you guys like using controllers with your device to play games, this is a really cool application to have, just being able to see all of these different applications <clears throat> that you can use a controller with. So a very handy application. I, I remember somebody was asking me about that in a previous video. What What is that application? Uh, and like I said, I'll leave the link for it down in the description. I'll also leave a couple of links uh, for the PS4 controllers and the Xbox One controllers. Um, I believe they're pretty cheap on Amazon right now, so I'll, I'll leave a link for those down below. And like I said, if you guys are not jailbroken and you don't want to jailbreak, just hold tight because iOS 13 will be supporting this natively, uh, where you can basically just connect these controllers within the Bluetooth section uh, on your device, which is really cool. So I'll probably be covering that once there's a public beta for iOS 13. Uh, but as of right now on iOS 12, that is how you're going to connect a Xbox One controller or a PS4 controller to your device to play games. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.